Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a recipe that I wanted to share with you guys. This is another recipe that I found on the internet. I've never made it before. Um, I'm kind of a little worried to try it. It just doesn't sound good at all. It's called water pie, and it's from the Great Depression around 1929 time. Um, People back then didn't have a lot of things that they needed for basic recipes. And I guess sometimes when you want something sweet, you're going to do what you need to do. So this is made with very few ingredients. It's called water pie because your main ingredient is water. Um, when I first came across this recipe, I thought, how is this even going to have any taste? So kind of, I, I found it almost a year ago and it's come back in my researches again when I'm finding things to do for this channel. And um, so now it's kind of like something that I want to try because I want to see for myself, is this even possibly good? Is I mean, <laughs> water pie. I, I, I don't know. So um, I'm going to give this a try and I'm going to make it exactly the way the instructions say except I'm going to be adding something to it because I just, I just don't see how this is going to taste good. I just don't. But, um, so if you're interested in seeing this, it's kind of an experiment for me, even though it's not an, ex it's not a recipe I came up with. This is something that's been around for well, about a hundred years, but I'm going to give it a try. You never know. Maybe I'll be surprised. So if you are interested in seeing how this works out. Maybe you want to try it with me. Maybe you've heard of it. Maybe you've tried it already. Maybe you're saying, Anna, it's not bad or whatever. I don't know. Or don't make it. It's gross. I don't know. But um, if you're interested, then stay tuned. I'm going to get everything set up. So be back in a second. Okay. First of all, you need a unbaked nine inch deep dish pie crust. You can either get store-bought or make your own. And because of the time era of this recipe, I went ahead and made my own uh, pie crust. I made it yesterday and I have it stored in the refrigerator and I just brought it out to bring it closer to room temperature before I get started on putting this together. And it's ready. So you need one and a half cups of water. four tablespoons of flour, one cup of sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, and I measured like two and a half teaspoons because I'm really concerned about the flavor content of this recipe. And five tablespoons of butter cut into five pieces. That's all you're going to need for this recipe. Like I said, it's bare bones pie. I hope it tastes good. I don't know. I'm a little concerned. First of all, you want to preheat your oven to 400, which I've already got that preheating. And next we're going to mix, or actually we're not going to mix it. We're just going to put the stuff in the pie crust. Don't stir it. Interesting. Yeah. I, I don't know. Okay, here we go. So we're going to put the uh, water in the pie crust. And in a bowl, we're going to mix the flour and sugar together, and I'm going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon to that because I'm just really worried about the flavor here. And we are going to stir the flour, sugar, cinnamon mixture. Now 
we're going to sprinkle this flour, sugar, and cinnamon mixture over our water as evenly as possible. Don't stir it. All right, now for the vanilla, we're gonna drizzle the vanilla over the top, again, not stirring it in. The butter, we're gonna arrange the butter on top. Don't stir it. We're gonna place this in the oven for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. After 30 minutes, we're going to cover the edges of the pie crust with foil to prevent them from burning. We're going to reduce the heat to 375 and bake for an additional 30 minutes. So this is the first 30 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, there's three minutes left of the first 30 minutes. Um, it smells like a pie's baking. I've got my foil pieces ready. I think I'm gonna go ahead and open the oven and put the foil around the edges of my pie um, so the crust doesn't burn. It's not burning now, but it's browning. So yeah, I'm gonna put some. So I'm gonna put my camera down here at the oven so you can see what it looks like so far or better yet, maybe I'll just take it out of the oven because it's going to be easier for me to put the foil on it when it's out of the oven anyways. So I'm going to take it out of the oven, and so you can see what it looks like so far. This is what it looks like after 30 minutes. I'm going to put some foil around the edges. I'm going to put this back in the oven, lower the temperature to 375, and bake for another 30 minutes. I burnt my finger taking it out. It's always the bad finger. Anyway, I'm going to put this back in the oven. Anyway, it's going to bake for 30 minutes at 375, and then we'll take it out and see what it looks like. Right now it's got puddles of melted butter where I placed the butter. I don't know if you saw that or not, but... I don't know. It kind of smells good. I can smell the cinnamon and the pie crust baking. Um, fingers kind of sore, so I hope my burnt finger's worth it. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a half an hour. All right. It's been 30 minutes. It smells pretty good in here. I can smell the cinnamon and the butter. I also made a, a butter pie crust for it, so there's going to be a lot of butter in this. Anyway, uh, it's ready to come out of the oven, so I'm about ready to pull it out so we can take a look at it, see what it looks like. It says that it will be watery when you first pull it out of the oven, and as it sets to cool, it will gel up. And it is a little watery. It was jiggly all over the place when I pulled it out. So let's take a look at it. I shook the pan around so you could see it jiggle. We're supposed to let it set out until it reaches room temperature, 
then cover it and put it in the refrigerator until it chills and sets up. So I'm going to take this off of the baking sheet and I'm going to put it on my homemade cotton towel here that I made on the counter so it will maybe come to room temperature a little bit faster than sitting on a hot metal pan. And uh, I'll come back and let you know how long it's been sitting on the counter to cool before putting it in the refrigerator. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half since I took it out of the oven. And the bottom of the pie plate is still warm, but I can put it in the refrigerator now. I'll probably just leave it on my towel here and stick it in the refrigerator because I have glass shelves. But I'm going to show you that it's not watery or jiggly anymore. doesn't smell bad. I'm kind of curious to see what it tastes like. Um, it doesn't look very good, but I think it's just the cinnamon that gave it that color, obviously. So we're going to see. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. I don't know if I will have to pause this video until tomorrow. It's four o'clock here now. So We'll see. Maybe 7 or 8 o'clock tonight it'll be cold enough to try because it's not liquidy anymore. It's just, you know, it's turning solid. So I'm going to pause the video for now and I'll be back in a few hours and we'll see if it's ready for a taste test. Or will we have to wait till tomorrow? I've taken this out of the refrigerator. It's not ice cold yet, but um, I think it's set up enough to cut to give it a taste test. It's kind of cool, but I'm noticing by not stirring it as you put this pie together, if you notice the butter is turning cold and it's kind of sitting on top of the pie. Um, maybe it'd be okay, but I would prefer mine mixed in, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. So I'm going to cut a slice and I'll aim the camera down so you can see how it cuts and pulls out of the pan. It's not a very deep pie. Um, I cut a small piece because I'm not quite sure of it. Uh, here it goes. Tastes like cinnamon and sugar. It does have a good cinnamon and sugar taste. It is cool. It's not cold as if it's been in the refrigerator overnight or something. But it is cool. It could be colder. Um, you know, back in 1929 when this recipe was made, they didn't have a lot, and so I'm sure that this was very tasty to them because it, you know, they probably didn't have desserts and sweets very often. So I could see how this would taste delicious to them. 
it's not bad. Um, it's got a good taste. It's definitely sweet. I'm glad I put the cinnamon in because without the cinnamon, to me, it would taste just like sugar water or sugar jello or something because it is kind of, it, it doesn't have the consistency of a custard pie. Um, but that is the butter on top that didn't, you know, that when butter gets cold, how it turns, you can see the butter chunk on there. I, I don't know if I would make this again. If I made it again, I would think, I think I want, would want to try it like mixing all the ingredients in a bowl, melt the butter and mix it in the bowl with the sugar, flour and stuff. So it's just like completely mixed and then pour it in the pie shell. And because I think the taste would be the same, but you wouldn't have that uh, little pieces of butter that's turned cold sitting on top of your pie. This isn't a pie that I would recommend heating up and warming. Like some people like to warm up apple pie and eat it. Uh, this has to be a cold pie to eat. But I don't really know if I'd make it again. It's it's not bad. It's not something I'd throw away. We will eat it. It might go good with coffee in the morning or something. But um, yeah, we'll eat this pie, but I probably wouldn't make it again. So I had fun with the experiment, though. Um, whipped cream might be good on it, but this is definitely sweet. Uh, I don't know, I don't think that the sugar in here has anything to do with helping it gel up. I think it's just the flour. And if that's the case, you could totally cut back on the sugar because it's, it's really sweet. I can almost feel like if you just took a teaspoon of sugar and ate it, how it would kind of crunch in your teeth. I feel that in this filling. I'm glad the cinnamon's here. Um, I do taste the butter. So yeah, that is water pie. So when desperation comes to desperation and you have nothing and you're craving something sweet and you happen to have all of these ingredients, it'd probably be good. But when we have a lot of other things that we can do, at least today anyway, and still make something sweet. I think I would go for that instead of making this recipe. Anyway, you know, you do with what you got to do. And uh, if you, if you don't have something for, for pie or for any, any sweet tooth, you know, it, it might be something good to make, but to be honest with you, I don't think I'd make it again. Not that it's bad. Um, but if you want to make it and try it, I would recommend the cinnamon or maybe a pumpkin pie spice or something. Um, and unless you like candy, you could probably decrease the sugar or give it a try and mix all the ingredients together, melt the butter and then pour it in your pie shell and see if that works better. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to eat the rest of this right now. I might wait because it is super sweet. Anyways, I'll meet you back here next time on Survive With What You Know. Have a great night.